Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I have here a Nox sensor. So I just removed it. Um, I wasn't going to make a video, but it seems as it's come out like this. See, it's pulled the threads out of the exhaust. So we now have to try and repair that. So it's not going to just be a straightforward fitting a new sensor in. So here's the old one here. Let's see if I can get you a better sort of view on it. See, it's pulled the threads out of the, the hole there. So I did have to use heat, a blowtorch on it, and a special tool there from uh, Laser Tools. Let's see if I can get the part number for that. Or the Laser Tool uh, code, whatever you call it. So we've got the new sensor here, the knock sensor to go in. And obviously the hole, like I said, is now damaged. So if you can see that there, it's, it's on a really bad angle because it's pointing upwards as well. So access is going to be difficult. But if we put a new sensor in there, we're just going to cross thread it and maybe round it off. So we're going to have to repair that. So we've got this tool from uh, Pickler Tools. It's a NOx sensor and particle sensor, basically, service kit, they call it. I don't, I don't see no part number on it, specific part number for it. So I'll try and get the link where I got it from and uh, put it in the video. So basically it comes with all different sorts of bits and pieces like this. You got one where you can cut out the, the thread, then you you can use an insert to go back in. Of course the inserts then are attached onto one of these, you can screw it in and remove the tool. Um, this is what I'm going to use here to cut the new thread in. Hopefully we'll just be able to cut the new thread in on this and then be able to just fit the new part back in without having to use these. Uh, I haven't used this tool yet, I've used one similar before that I got on eBay but basically after the first use all of these threads got sort of knackered on it so I thought I'd upgrade and buy a more expensive tool that will be able to be used a few more times so let's get this in there see if we can get this uh, get this hole uh, reusable so these tools here it's got this piece here in the middle you see where it centers it when you put it in the hole it makes sure that the tool is center so you ain't putting it in you know off off center and making it crooked basically so I'm just gonna get that make sure it's getting some sort of bite and then we'll try and get a spanner on there so even better we managed to get a socket on there which is better so now we'll just cut our way down get that thread cleaned up this is gonna cut some new thread in so hopefully we have enough material left in there to to be able to cut a new thread in if not, we'll have to use an insert. So that's it, we've reached the end. Okay, back on here. Get out of focus. Looks good. Looks like we're going to be able to just put our new sensor back in there now. Get that sitting straight. Lovely, look at that. Smooth as anything. Straight in. And that's it, we just tighten it down with our Nox sensor tool here from Laser. Yeah, so that's it, typical Mercedes with these issues and we've also got another sensor down here now that we need to change on this as well, which is that one. That is a Mercedes Vito, London taxi. So I think that's about it and I'll see you on the next video.